Hi there, this is a really quick video just explaining uh, what sample and hold is and how it works within the context of Ableton's analog. Um, sample and hold is not dissimilar to the technology that your sound card uses to actually um, uh, digitize an incoming analog signal. Um, the sample rate is the regularity in which um, uh, an incoming signal is is measured, and that's normally 44,100 uh, times per second. Um, when we say sample and hold in synthesis, normally what we're referring to is um, a very particular type of sound. It's not um, a million miles away from the kind of R2-D2 bleeps and bloops. Um, in analog, I've just got a sawtooth running into a low-pass filter. So if I bring the filter down, shouldn't be an unfamiliar sound to you. Let's turn on LFO1 and switch the wave to noise. Um, now anyone that knows what noise is, noise is something which sounds a little bit like this. Um, and that's kind of the closest thing we can get to random in um, the digital world. Um, so essentially what sample and hold is, is taking a, like refreshing, um, a rectangle or pulse type um, wave um, on a noise signal and that gives us something which is quite close to random. So if we go onto our filter and we increase the amount of LFO modulation and we increase the rate of our LFO, let's take up the it's probably not a sound that's unfamiliar to you. Um, that's pretty much the premise of how sample and hold works. Okay, so to make that a demonstration with another synth, let's have a look at Massive. Uh, again, I've just got a sawtooth. I'm going to load up a low-pass filter and go to LFO5. And if you go into the curve, you've got these random steps. Now, um, they're not really random because it's a um, sort of pseudo random shape which is going to be cycled but you get a not dissimilar effect as you can hear that's that's periodic so it's not really what sample and hold is um, there is another implication or application rather of sample and hold and that's a bit like our sound card example in the inserts we have a sample and hold um, effect um, bringing down the pitch is essentially what's called sample rate reduction and that is effectively uh, reducing the regularity in which the incoming oscillator is um, uh, allowed to pass through or um, rebuffered if you like. So um, that's another application of the effect. In reality, uh, in the analog world, if you like, sample and hold doesn't have to be sampling a noise signal. It could be um, sampling something like a sine wave, which would give you something a little bit like this sort of quantized stepped shape. Um, and it's really the quantization which is important because, um, you know, th that's... Um, that's the number of steps in this is the regularity of the sample and hold. So anyway, that's all.